Do you remember when you were a little kid and they did those scientific kind of experiments where you would have your friend over here and maybe a few yards or meters down over here you have your other you're over there your other friend and each of you has a paper or a plastic cup and there's a string attaching at the base of each of them and you spread apart <clears throat> and if you pull the string really tight if one puts it to their ear and the other puts it to their mouth and you can communicate with each other right well I watched this video about it and I read this article piece on it as well and how the sound travels through the string and the sound does not travel if the string is like loose in sort of like a jump rope kind of look it's only when the string is pulled really tight does the sound carry and the particles you know it's like your um, your vocal cords they're pulled really tight and that's why when you put your hand right here on your Adam's apple you can hear that reverberation so it's the vibration of your voice just like when you're playing a guitar the strings don't make noise when they're broken but they do make a beautiful noise sometimes not so beautiful <laughs> when they are pulled tight and it was so intriguing to me how when it's not tight you don't get you can't hear each other the communication does not go through and so as I was praying about this message I could just keep hearing the Holy Spirit saying I I want you to ask me I want you to talk to me I want you to have a tight knit communication with me and so that was kind of what I was going through in my thought process while I was making this video and the first scripture that I came across was James 4 2 it says you have not because you ask not and it's very common I hear this in many circles of Christian people and even uh, those who maybe are not involved in church but they consider themselves Christians is they can't hear God or I've already prayed about that and nothing happened or uh, something similar where they think that God's not listening he's in a black hole they did it one time and I mean yeah if you do it once you doesn't make you a prayer warrior okay it's kind of like saying mm, I'm just gonna not brush my teeth today and just see how it goes <laughs> you know maybe once a week once a month once a year like gross <laughs> right it's the same with prayer it's the same with prayer because prayer is how God has created us to communicate with him he's he doesn't come out of the sky and like sprinkle fairy dust and do everything for us he created us for communion with him that means he wants to talk to us he wants to have a relationship with you he wants you to pray he wants you to ask this was in Matthew 7 7 it says ask and it will be given unto you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open unto you it goes on to say that for everyone who asks receives everyone who seeks will find and everyone who knocks the door will be open but we stop asking we stop seeking we stop knocking you stop brushing your teeth <laughs> it's gonna get pretty gross <laughs> you can't stop it's just like an athlete you cannot become a world-renowned athlete if you're not training repeatedly 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 when you work out you're not gonna see results if you do it once in a while but if you're consistent you do it again you do it again you do it again you see the results it's the same with God the more you talk to him just think of it like I'm talking to you right now the more you talk to him the more he'll talk to you and this was pulling that string tight that's what pulls that string tight because just like the little the little cup scientific experiment the sound doesn't travel until the string is pulled so tight so your relationship with God has to get so tight the way you make it tight is you spend time with him you pray
pray. Matthew 7, 7 that I just read to you talks about that. Seek, ask, find, knock. That is, we, we're praying to God. But then also, in, in uh, 2 Timothy 3.16, it says that all scripture is God-breathed. It's breathed by God, and it's profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and training us up in righteousness. So that's another way that we can hear God. If his word is breathed out by him, then that's him talking to us. So when you're praying, you're talking to God. And when you are reading the word of God, God is talking to you. But then there's another there's another scripture and this is uh, the meditation piece which is Isaiah 26 3 says that you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you meditation is how we hear God so you know years ago when I was at my home church I learned a very valuable tool that I still use I have journals and journals of just writing and what they taught us was the SOAP method and it was the the S stands for scripture so you would write a scripture maybe today your scripture is 1st Corinthians 316 your body is the temple of God's spirit that is the temple and God's spirit dwells in you so you would write that out my body is the temple of God where his spirit resides in me then for this the next letter in soap is O so you would write down your observation hmm. the observation is God's Spirit lives on the inside of me that means I don't have to go out looking for things in this world everything you need is not outside of you it is in you then the third letter is a the a is for application how does this apply to me what could apply to you by not going and looking for social media to get your answers instead seeking God through prayer to get your answers because you know that everything is already in you that you need to live your destiny life the last letter is P and that's prayer so then you would pray Lord I know your word says that my body is the temple and that God's Spirit resides on the inside of me. Help me to seek you for my answers instead of this world for its broken down answers. That, that's just an example of how I would use this soap method that was taught to me many, many years ago, 20 years ago. I love it. I'm so grateful to have learned that. And that's how you meditate. You take God's word and you chew on it. You think about it all day. How do I apply this to this situation at work? How do I apply this to the situation with my friendships and my relationships, my marriage, my finances, anything, your life? Because in order for us to keep that tight string so that we can hear God and he can hear us, we have to press into him through prayer, reading his word, meditating on his word. So are you asking? Are you asking? God is listening. He wants to communicate with you. You do your part and he will do his and he will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. Stayed on him rather than stayed on Facebook led by him rather than led by your friends or your spouse or money or whatever you're being led around by god wants to be your source and i can tell you from experience he's the best lover of every of any he will love you in such a powerful way that you'd never encounter from this world and i believe personally that that's why we as humans are always looking for the answer outside of us because God put eternity in the heart of every man. And because he did that, 
we are in search of him. You might not know it. <laughs> you may not know it. But when you become a believer and you invite Jesus into your heart, you'll know. Because that is the only thing that can fill your void. You can't fill your void with money and sex and drugs and all of that. All of the world's a la carte menu items. But you can fill it with God. And maybe you don't know God today, but you can invite him into your heart. You can just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I surrender. Forgive me of my sins and then repent. Turn from your sins and live his way. If you made that choice, I want to pray for you. So send me a little note in the comments down below. And I just want to say congratulations. It's really tough to go against the grain of this world. So kudos to you. And I want to say thank you to those of you who always watch my videos. Thank you, thank you. I can't do this on my own, y'all. I have to have your support and your prayers. It takes a whole tribe to get God's plan spread all over. He said to go into the world and make disciples. So thank you for supporting this ministry. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and MeWe. My YouTube channel is brand new. You can subscribe on there. Hit the little yellow bell. You'll get the notifications whenever I make a new video. And share this video because social media needs to know that God's word is valuable. We need spiritual uh, content. We need videos that encourage us to move towards God. We don't just need all the garbage that's out there. So share the video and every time you do, you're sending that message to social media. Thanks for doing that for me and I'll see you guys next week.